What's up, Todd Guy of Thrash and Zombie here. Today, Saturday is record store day, the second drop. Uh, I don't usually, I haven't been doing videos on Saturdays for a long time, but uh, I didn't think I was gonna get anything. I didn't stand in line. I didn't wait. I uh, I went there. What time is it? It's almost ten. It's like nine thirty when I went there. Um, Nobody there, basically. It was just people that worked there. The place was like empty. I couldn't believe it. I walked in, I just looked around, I was like, that died down pretty quick, huh? And the guy was like, yeah, it, like five minutes, five or ten minutes, it was all over. He's like, there's only like 15 people in line. He's like, it was kind of underwhelming for this drop, I guess. I'm like, huh. I mean, they had some good stuff. They had like two King's X albums. I think there was three that came out, but they only had two there. First time on vinyl, they had uh, Lamb of God, His Palace is Burn, uh, like Free Monkeys albums, uh, Bee Gees, some other stuff that I thought you know, people would want, but they still had quite a bit left. Uh, so I walked around, I looked and looked, and I mean, there's nothing that I really like, oh my god, I gotta have this. But I picked up two things, and uh, they're both punk records. I don't listen to a lot of punk, but they looked interesting and figured I should get more punk in my collection. So the first one I got was this uh, Cro-Mags, The Age of Coral. Apparently it's like their first album from what I saw on Discogs. Um, reissued <coughs> on a uh, red and black splatter 180 gram vinyl. <coughs> so, yeah. I figured, what the hell, right? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna open this up somehow here. See if I can't cut myself. There we go. Whoosh. So there's the inner sleeve. A little ass tiny writing. Let's put this. Ooh, let's listen to that static. Can't hear it. Can't really hear it. It's okay though. But yeah, look. Staticky. So there's the record. The record. Looks pretty cool. Fucking red though. So sick of red. Red fucking vinyl. But, it goes with the album cover, I suppose, because it's kind of red. So, yeah. Chromags, Age of Coral. I don't think I've ever heard of anything from the Chromags, so... <clears throat> like I said, I haven't listened to much punk. So, we'll see. But, you know, pretty cool. This is from Profile, it says. So, there's that one. The second one is... Fear, the record. This is pressed on multicolored vinyl, includes an exclusive 7 inch Christmas single and art stencil. This is from Run Out Groove, Record Store Day exclusive. It's funny, they got a Christmas 7 inch for a band called Fear. Here's the back. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard anything from these guys either. I don't think. Let's uh, see if I can go without cutting myself again. So I got the seven inch first. Tis the season to give good cheer and luck. Tis, tis not season to give a fuck. What the fuck's got stars there? Even this is colored. And um, guess what? Fucking red! It's called Beep Christmas. And this is Fuck Christmas. Or Star Uck Christmas. One clean side. Clean side. Oh, so one's an edited version, one's not. That's cool. Alright, let's take this record out. Where's the stencil at? There's the stencil. Oh, that's cool. 
so you can stencil that. Huh, interesting, I guess. <coughs> and, oh, nice polylined inner sleeve on, um, I guess, white. I said multicolored. I expected it to be. Maybe it's like different colors. Hmm. Let's have a war. Beef bologna. Camarillo. New York, New York is all right. You, if you like saxophones, give me some action. Foreign policy. We destroy the family. Love living in the city. Disconnected. We got to get out of this place. Fresh flesh. Getting the brush. No more nothing. Yeah, definitely punk. The songs are like two minutes or so in length. <laughs> I feel like I know a couple of these songs. Like, Let's Have a War. I feel like Sacred Reich had a song called that. Or they covered that. I guess I'll know when I listen to it. And Foreign Policy. That sounds familiar too. I'm sure there's some metal bands that covered a couple of these songs, I would assume. Because, you know, metal bands love their punk. So there's I guess that ain't gonna fit really. So that's uh that's my record store day. Pretty nice, right? So yeah. Fear the record. I hope everybody else had a good record store day. Uh, got what you wanted. I mean, wasn't a lot this this drop, but you know, if you wanted something, I would have got those Kings X, but I streamed those and uh, eh, I wasn't really into them. I'm not a big fan of Lamb of God either. I'm surprised more people didn't want that around here because that's the kind of shit they listen to. Is that kind of metal? The uh, the new wave metal or whatever it's called. So, but that's it. Happy record store day. Happy hunting. Rock on.